All right, y'all. Let's get started with the channel messages for today. Or the channel message. I say message, but I always end up with messages. All right, so let's see. Oh, quick like. Meditate and contemplate. So this may be a, a time where you need to take a step back. Um, and I literally had to do that before I started this read because I'm just like y'all. I have shit that be going on in my life, shit that be going on in my head. And sometimes I have to literally take a step back, breathe, regroup myself and kind of center, not kind of, but definitely center myself. So you're in a space right now that you're needing to center yourself. You're needing to bring your awareness back to you. Okay. Contemplate means that there are some things that you're needing to think about. You're needing to, to reevaluate within your mind. And you may be already doing that. Okay. Because for this to come out, this is the energy, the message for today. With new moon and Pisces, there may be new dreams, new aspirations, new um, goals that you, you're wanting to reach. You're being prompt now. Now to take a step back, bring yourself in alignment. We got two fish here, so you need to bring yourself align in alignment with your higher self and really tune in to who you are, tune in to, to your energy, okay? And this may be even you needing to kind of like block out anything that is not of you. So let's read what the description is in the book for this. All right. Uh, this is my second read. The first read. Like four cards came out. Then when I put them up, I was like, this is for me. This is for me. <laughs> so I had to, you know, have my own little pep talk for myself. You feel what I'm saying? All right. New moon in Pisces, 64. So this is about uh, tens represent ends. So this is about something that is ending, bringing you back to yourself. This is like coming back to you because the 10 simplifies to the one. So this is coming back to you and you're protected in this journey, but it does mean that you're needing to bring yourself back in tune with your higher self. OK. This card speaks of dreams and romance of soulmates and poetry. It suggests there's a new start coming your way that's connected to a matter that leaves you feeling somewhere between having your head in the clouds and being in a totally altered state. There could be confusion and disappointment if if that what you've had before, if that's what you've had before and that's what you're expecting. However, if you're on to a good thing, then wish. Let me put my damn glasses on. Y'all, I'll be struggling because I can't fucking see. And my, you know, yeah, I do be stumbling over my words, but the, 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 the truth of the matter is I can't fucking see. And I don't like to put my glasses on because... Not that I don't like the way they look. They literally are wopsided on my face because I sat on them. <laughs> and they fall off sometimes. So anyway, wow, that's so much better. So maybe you need to put your your your, your focus on, your bifocus on. Maybe you need to start to see things a little bit differently, okay? Oh, wow. All right. However, if you're onto a good thing, then wish hard because of the words of your soul and your heart could help bring the bring about the manifestation of your dreams. If all that sounds a little wet and watery, then that's Pisces for you. This is the last sign of the Zodiac and the new moon in Pisces can suggest a last ditch chance to make your dreams come true. The tune attuned to the moon. Use your feelings to guide your way. Logic won't work right now. I'm looking like that because why I got to use my feelings? Like why we got to use <sighs> additional meanings for this card. Face your fears. They may be holding you back. The situation is being healed. It's time to surrender to the divine. Chat on namo narayami. I'm going to Google that to see what that means. Avoid being deceptive or willingly deceive. The teachings here. Pisces is a sign of reveries and mysteries or depths of emotion, idealism, and hopeless romantics. It is a sign of water and the unconscious. Its energy in, is deep like watery depths. The new moon in Pisces indicates a time to listen to your feelings and to allow your emotions free reign. Whatever, you, whatever you're feeling as you pull this card is more likely than the truth. It's more likely than the truth. Unless you've been kidding yourself somehow and only you know if that's the case or not. So what I'm gaining from this, make sure ain't nothing behind here. I don't think that's behind here, but I just want to make sure. So what I'm gaining from this, for a lot of you guys, this is about really, again, becoming in tune with yourself. Some of you guys need to take a step back. 
Um, meditate definitely means going within, bringing your awareness back to you. And it may just be bringing your awareness back to what you feel, especially if you're like me and you detach from your emotions because they can sometimes be a little overwhelming. Okay. I am a earth sign, sun and moon. I am an earth sign. But when I tell you my emotions run deep, um, very deep, um, to the fact where sometimes I can become unstable due to my emotions and not unstable in a angry way, but unstable is in, it's hard for me to focus on anything else. So it may be a sense of needing to bring your awareness back to you. Concentrate on what you feel, not anything outside of you, but concentrate on what you feel. And if there's something that you're ready to pursue, this is about bringing your awareness to that and actually bringing those dreams into reality. Because Pisces energy is all about your dreams, all about your aspirations. And with meditate and contemplate, this is about thinking about what you actually want and how are you going to get there, okay? Whew, that was a lot of energy. So this is all I have for today. If you guys would like, oh, before I forget, if you guys want to join the Wise Ones membership, you have to do it on a web browser, meaning you actually have to go on your computer or you have to go on your web browser on your phone. If you go on your computer, you just go to YouTube, log in, go to my channel and where it has subscribe or where you press to subscribe, there's a drop down arrow. Press that drop down arrow and it'll ask you to join the wise ones. If you go on your phone, like say for instance, you can't get to a computer and you do it on your phone, you have to delete the YouTube app. Go on your browser, go on YouTube, log in, go to the drop menu on my channel, um, join, and then you can re-download the YouTube app and then you'll be able to view those videos on the app. But for whatever reason, YouTube has not updated their systems, updated their app to reflect you being able to actually join. Like you can access the videos on the app once you join, but you can't join on the app, which is crazy to me but whatever I, I digress that's how you do it um and if you guys need like further instructions then i'll i'll screenshot me doing it on my phone so that you can see it if you guys need further instructions but this is all i have until next time